This is a mistake. Cheers, everyone. Princess the Bear here. We're back at Epcot because it's time to get whiny. It's wine o'clock. We're going to wine around the world. Yeah, th that kind of wine. Like professionals, we're starting in France. That's right. Wine out, wine in France, while in France. So as your number one choice in foodie infotainment, let's go get wine owed. Some vegan and some non-vegan wines. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Yeah. Oh wait, I gotta tell you what I got first. This is, I'm gonna butcher it, but they had me practice it with them a bunch of times. Uh, Papa Duke? No. Chateau Duke? Did Papa? Three words. Yeah, I know. I, I messed it up already. It's something about like the Pope's wine. I'm terrible. I should know this, but I don't. Cheers. It's a nice full-bodied wine. It's got a lot of flavor to it. I like the grapes. It's very tasty. I'm gonna give it four out of five wines. It's delicious. We start with red. I don't know if that is a red flag or a beige flag or whatever flags we're given nowadays, but we're in here and I ain't whining. A little bit. Ooh, like that. Like medium body, a little dry. Very grapey. France can do one. What can I say? Three and a half out of five plus. This is gonna be a long day. Oh, I know some of you are thinking, wander around the world. Why would I wander around the world when we have both beer and cocktails here at Epcot? Wine is no slouch. You can do wine around the world. You can do anything around the world. They do 10 ounce pours here. A little measly five pours. Five ounce? Three. Three ounce? Yeah. Ten. Do it however you wish. But sparkling grapefruit rosé. I'm not a big fan of griffin fruit, but I do love rosé, and there's something different. Ooh, that's quite good, actually. Have you ever had, like, the Italian grapefruit soda? Think about that in wine form. This is amazing, even though, obviously, it's not soda. Four out of five plus. Here we have a beautiful rosé. I feel like this is more than three ounces. This is probably four. Cheers to the vegan rosé. It's a little chilled, not completely chilled, like more room temperature level. It's not bad, not mad at it. I like it. Morocco is tasty. I would give it four out of five wines. It's a smashing grape. So here we have a Spanish wine in Morocco and it's pink. Lots of pinks today, pinks and reds. We'll get to the whites eventually, we promise. Ooh, that is sharp. Very tart. That cherries, I guess? Good little cherries. Not bad, pretty crisp. A little bit more crisp and tart than I like my wines, but for pink, it's not terrible. Harsh aftertaste though. Oof. Three out of five plus. So here we have the Kuhn Rioja. Uh, this thing looks deeper than the Mediterranean Sea. I guess it's dark. Dark like me. Or the brighter tint, obviously. Ooh. I can aboard that. Oh, it's Spanish, but it gives me like Pintage vibes. That level of body, but like it sticks in the mouth a little bit less. A little bit less than the pintas. It doesn't, doesn't sit heavy in the mouth, but it's still like a very like deep, layered wine. I can drink this. I'm not gonna be able to drink this as fast as I drank my last wine, but it's still pretty good. 
3.75 out of 5 plus. Winding it up. Christmas to it. I, I, I don't mind that. It's like uh, white but red with that full flavor. It's a very like uh, ripe grape, but it, it does well. Honestly, it's what we keep going to the Shiki Side Bar window. Obviously, I think the price is there a little bit higher than most. But you get some unique things that you can't get other places, uh, which is why we're at Epcot in the first place. I like this one. 3.75 out of 5 pops. So here we have the night swim. You have cans of sake at the uh, Shiki Sai window now. I know, obviously, these are going to work on this whole can is 20, but this is basically double what you would get at the garden house. So, I mean, 20 bucks for two servings of sake is actually cheaper than what you would get at the garden house if you order two. And normally, when I go, I order two. I usually get the Jemai and the Nagori. This one, you can do a little cup with it too. Prince already has enough of these, she's not keeping this one. No, I want it. Ooh, that's a nice clean drink. And dangerous. Craft sake. Mellow tropical and refreshing hints of citrus. I feel refreshed. I do taste citrus. It's on brand. 14% alcohol by volume. This one's gonna hurt. Four to five plus. In America, we do wine on tap because that's how we murka. Cheers to box of wine puts me right out. That's actually a really lovely Pinot Noir. It's like slightly chill, very classic. It's very full bodied. It's got like a, a really interesting aftertaste to it. Like almost like notes of maybe like some vanilla or something. Really weird. Not mad at it, but I don't think I would order it again. I'm gonna give it like two out of five wines. Not the best grape. I feel like we don't actually walk inside the American Pagoda that much. We do occasionally enjoy the show, but then like when the jazz music, like exhibit was here, we came in here a lot more, and now it's gone. It makes it kind of sad. And we love the jazz And standing exhibit. tables. Yes, and the tables, the, the secret tables, the Disney Adult Series, these have tables right here inside the foyer. They're all gone. Let's return to normal Epcot, Epcot, American Pavilion. Either way. Try this wine. It's a Pinot Noir. It smells like Pinot Noir. Nice and deep. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, it's interesting. Ooh. It feels like barrel aged something. Like smoky? Like, I don't know, it's a whiskey barrel, rum barrel, something. A barrel of something. But it gives it a very unique character. Some layers to it. Uh, this is the one I was going to sip slowly. I'll give it three out of five applause. Uh, you got to be in the mood. Mm -hmm. 
halfway point in this journey yet and I feel like we've already had so much to drink. I'm telling you, the real challenge is wine around, wine around the world. Cocktails are easy. They're mostly juice anyway. Beers, they're a bit heavy. Wine will put you on your behind. Quote me on that. Bear quote of the day. At least it's sparkling. Kind of refreshes the palate. We've had a lot of different wines. It sort of cleanses it. It's interesting. It's sparkling. It's a three and a half out of five plus. Princess approved. Bear will tolerate. That's right, I'm getting all the easy stuff. Peach Moscato. Because I love fruity wines. Something other than just grape. I like other notes mixed in my wine. Peach and anything, I'm probably going to do it. If you're a sweet wine person, like you like a more approachable wine, the peach Moscato is probably for you. If you're a Moscato person at all, this is probably top tier. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five claws. This is probably the easiest thing I've had to drink all day. one place I'm just gonna take my stomach. Maybe I should have gotten a pretzel, but I commit to my mistakes. Oh, this is a dessert one. This is sweet. This reminds me of that like, Relax Riesling. Woo! This is a sweet, 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 sweet. Um, two and a half out of five sweet sweets play the music now jam so here we have the slosh volards slosh slosh i'm butchering this i know i'm trying my best sue me don't sue me i'm broke but uh tropical juices in a wine it smells like juicy juice Very sweet. It's not a Riesling. Very interesting. It's a very like hyper ripe fruit for but without the tart. Like you're getting like the fruit at its peak in these flavors. And like peach and grape, some pear in there. It's very interesting. Very drinkable. I know we come here all the time and we get the pear brandy. You can broaden your horizons. You don't have to come in here and torture yourself like we do. Germany has lots to offer in the forms of beer, wine, and otherwise. So pick your poison. Or your wine. Four to five points. So here we are, me again, with the uh, sparkling stuff. I don't know how I got stuff on sparkling. I started one sparkling drink and 
Now we're yeah. drinking since it has been sparkling. We have the Schaumburg sparkling wine. We just saw a bunch of them. All the bubbles. The bubbly. Ooh. That is not what I expected. This is very crisp. It's almost like weak Sprite. With alcohol. This is going to leave you the blank palate. Like blank blank. No other flavors. It's it's grape and no other fruit, but like so clean and crisp. It's like scraping your tongue with like one of those tongue scraper things, but with alcohol. Which, depending on what you're doing today, that might be a good thing. Three and a half out of five bucks. So we're at the refreshment outpost. The Africa Pavilion? Nah, this is not a country. I refuse to acknowledge that. We have Animal Kingdom. This is an embarrassment. We are doing a check-in because, you know, we are... I feel like more than halfway through this wine around the world. We're I whining. think we're doing pretty well. We're winding down and not winding up. Uh, but we have China, Mexico, Canada, the UK left. Oh, yeah, more more than halfway. Uh, I think we're doing all right. I think so, too. It's it, it's a rough going, but it's doable. It's doable because the weather has cooled off. And we haven't snacked, so yeah. that's a thing. We probably do need to eat some po at some point. Till then, we're just going to amuse you with our hilarity in the foodie infotainment. Uh, so, on to more drinks. Here we have the plum wine. Thankfully, the plum wine that they have here is vegan. Not a lot of plum wines are vegan. Shout out to Sea Grape that we got to meet recently. We got this plum wine here. I usually mix this plum wine at home with a little bit of sparkling lime and then you got a splash of sake and you have a really nice um, like spritzer. This is just wine by itself. It's just really like, so, it's kind of on the syrupy side but not too bad. It's kind of light. I like it. I'm going to give it a four out of five plum wines. It's plummy. It's funny to come here and drink one of the things that we drink at home all the time. There are certain days where we can buy a whole bottle of this and it's not too expensive. You can find this in most grocery stores and then with some sake and some lime seltzer. That's enough to put us both to bed before sunset. That's what you're looking to do when I'm sick of your day. All for it, but we do love us some plum wine. Mm. Is it like borderline of like almost too sweet? Or just sweet enough? Like I don't drink plum wine to not be sweet. I don't want a bitter plum wine. Plum wine is concentrated plum, fermented. Four to five plus. It's my jam. So we have our first fail of the day. So we stopped at every place that we could in Norway. They have beer, but they don't have wine. So they have like the little pre-packaged like wine bottles like you can take to go, but they're not vegan. They're not vegan. Remember the princess, and I am not feeling pre-packaged wine today. That's not why I came to Epcot. It's like the same wines that you can get from all the Disney resorts. It's not anything special. It's not anything Norwegian. It's just wine that's here. So I feel like it's safe to just move on to the next. Yes, on the Viva La Mexico. Well, you're probably wondering why we ended up inside Mexico with tequila. So we're gonna um, cheers to Bavaros. Yes. Our favorite server inside of La Cava. Let's give the princess some salt. Let's give a lick. We do not barbarians here. Bavaros let us know that tequila is wine. It actually started off as a ceremonial wine for the Aztec. So it still counts. Don't judge us. I instantly regret this decision though, but I commit to my mistake. This was definitely the princess's idea, but you know, if you want to make your wine around the world more difficult, tequila is wine. It is wine. Cheers. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh my 
god, it's so good. It's a spicy. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh. She really did ask for this. It doesn't matter like how much time <laughs> passes before we have another one of these taco shots. It's literally like the best. We're gonna regret this decision. Oh, I love this so much. We still have two more countries to go. I love this so much. Here we much. are taking tequila shots. Yum. Five out of five, Princess Desire. Get this shot. I agree. Five out of five. Yes, there is sangria at La Cava and Coza and. Um, Cantina La Hacienda de San Genel. That ain't box sangria. That's juicy juice sangria. That is, uh, that's like Morocco sangria. You're just like, whoa, where did you come from? Um, I don't know. Two out of five sangrias? This is not my jam. I might sacrifice this to bear. If he could stand it. I don't know about this one. Remember, La Cava is a tequila bar where we ordered sangria. Now we do this because this video has a theme. On a normal day, there is zero chance under the shadow of the mouse that I would ever order sangria from a tequila bar. But we commit to our mistakes, as you well know. If you don't know, now you do. Oh, oh, it's like great value, great juice meets Walmart box wine. If you're looking to be sick in your stomach, go ahead and start in Mexico with this. Two out of five balls. So yes, we got margaritas because, like we said, tequila is wine. Namor would approve. That'll make you feel like an enemy. So it's mezcal with pineapple and a peach cordial. This thing feels like you got smacked in the face with a uh, fiery hot piece of wood but it's cold, but very smoky. Ooh. This is a mistake, but I like these kind of mistakes. Four to five plus. Canada, we finally have our second fail. No vegan wines, which is fine. I'm still struggling with the margarita mistake that I made. I mean, there's, the ice wine's not vegan. Bear could have that. I but. could. I still got a full margarita. And I took a shot at a margarita. I think that counts. Two bodies. So, all we have left is the UK. One more country, yay! I can't believe we're making it around the world. That is so crazy. Yes. I would say long live the queen, but I'm just gonna say long live Hugh Grant. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> didn't think we are going to make it past Germany. And here we are in the UK. The finish line. Cheers to you, Grant. Mm. 
Dr. Loose has got me loose. But the looseness is probably because of everything I had before we got here. Either way, three out of five claws. That's probably slightly influenced by all the other things we have today. But hey, we made it. Uh, I feel like this is the first around the world we've completed on this channel. We've done a few of these. Maybe one is the easiest. Maybe it's not. I want to see you guys try. Let us know your attempt and how far you get in the comments. Maybe if you have a better version, different drinks, we'll come back and try those in another year. But we made it. We got to end it with a good meal. It's been a day. So I'm going to put some lemon on this chicken. You mean fish? Oh, sorry, fish, my bad. Some malt vinegar out of my little fishy fish. And then I'm gonna dip it in this tartar sauce. Cause, oh yeah, and we got extra tartar sauce because Alex is the best. So good. This is a perfect way to end a wine around the world. We had some great wines, we had some terrible wines, but this is perfect with my Rose and Crown wine. Great end, five out of five Princessity's item. If you can come here after, I think it's like four or five, and get this, you should. This is very good. When it's a non-festival time. So one thing in Epcot we keep coming back to, no matter what else changes here, the vegan fish and chips is still top of our list. I actually prefer the vegan fish and chips and normal fish and chips because I find the normal fish and chips to be a tad bit on the greasy side. So, go ahead and grab this big triangle of fake fish and this fake tartar sauce. Mmm, with a real bear bite. Mmm. It's like guilt-free fish with a lot of guilty alcohol. Still a bare necessity. If you're plant-based and you haven't got this, you're still a real disservice. A full bar with beer, wine, and liquor, and fish and chips to go. What's to go wrong? Rose and Crown Pup. Tom Prince is in the bear seat. So the steak free, this is the best free you could probably get at Epcac with some vegan tartar sauce, because why not? Mmm. 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 This is the only thing better than mustard. On a fry. This is amazing. Five out of five princess city's item. Gotta get these frites with the vegan tartar sauce and dip it and enjoy it. Nice little steak frites. Princess tartar sauce, I'm doing plain old boring ketchup. The blood of tomatoes is on my hands. Passes the fry test, does it pass the bear test? Mmm. Crispy outside, salt mushy inside. They can do no wrong. Three and a half out of five claws. So it's coming to the end of the road. I can't believe that we got through an entire one around the world, but we did it. Responsibly. Now it's time to take uh, responsible transportation home. But it was a good college try. Not college try, because we're not in college. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, it was definitely a lot different. I don't want to say that doing cocktails is easier or harder than doing the wine. It really depends on your tolerance for either or. But yeah. we now challenge you guys to do the same safely and responsibly absolutely let us know about your attempts failure success in the comments below if there's any other drinks that you would have thrown into here on our socials yes x uh, threads blue sky facebook instagram share, tiktok share all of your experiences we're on everything there. remember that we are your number one choice to food entertainment yes simply because us. you showed up hit the notification bell you'll see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. And if you don't comment on one or more socials, Eric's going to eat himself into.
to either this planter, this body of water, the Skyliner, or Spaceship Earth and severely injure himself for no reason other than sadness for no comments. You're the girl. Just comment. Save the bear.